welcome to Long Story Short. I'm Kijan Haynes, or if I were a Trinidad Express headline, I'm Vaccinated Haynes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, your boy got his shot. So, if none of my jokes are funny today, blame it on the vaccine. Anyway, so how do I feel? Um, let me describe it. So it's kind of, have you ever been high? You ever smoke a little thing? So you feel a little tingly, you feel a little lightheaded, a uh, little dry mouth. So basically how I would have felt on a Saturday anyway. I mean, I'm hosting the show, so clearly I ain't too bad. Tomorrow might be a different story, but for now, good stuff. And all things considered, I may be feeling like this now, but inside, the vaccine inside of me is like, If he dies, he dies. <laughs> I, I won't, I won't die. You're not getting rid of me that easily because I even feel bad making that joke because you know somebody gonna take it the wrong way and say, hey, look, Ishan, relax, take the vaccine. But I should say, and just let me just get this out of the way very quickly, I did not skip any line. Media workers are considered essential. And well, I also felt that I had a part to play using my platform to increase trust in the vaccine because these guys are not doing it. Over the past few weeks, there has been, um, I don't want to say rumor, there has been some um, hesitancy mm -hmm. by, by, by persons to take it because there were two recent deaths. And yes, because that is happening because of reporting in that very building that you are in right now. The ministry has said, look, these are not related to the <clears throat> vaccines and I'm going by what the Ministry of Health is saying at this time. We have also seen persons in authority, persons from law enforcement, the heads of, 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 of the law enforcement agency, the they have taken it, the former National Security Minister has taken it, the Minister of Health has taken it. So I am just going by, by what I am seeing science. at this time, the science. Mm -hmm. Ah, see, okay, you, you made up for it. And thankfully, somebody in Express House has some sense. Oh, by the way, if you do not believe that I did not skip any line, here's the Minister of Health saying it. Today, as you know, we are doing members of the media, regardless of age, because we consider them the, the frontline media workers. So yes, as I've been saying, at the end of the day, you have to trust the science. But I, back to the Express for a little bit. I seriously feel like that paper has been playing like a months long April Fool's prank with some of their reporting. Because legit, in an editorial last week, they came out and said, and this is a quote, that you know people may know more than doctors because they read from multiple sources. A direct quote from the Trinidad Express editorial. Well, clearly, that is why all these news before news websites are destroying traditional media because, you know, no training necessary, just vibes. And let's be real. Come on, guys. You cannot be telling people to be wary of the vaccine, but you're letting Omega XL advertise up and down in your media house. Right. I'm not trying to sell another bottle of Omega XL. It's not going to change my life and make it better. But it may, it may make your life better. Do they advertise here? No. Okay, good. <laughs> But, and you at home, don't, don't, don't say that, oh, you bigger than Omega XL, eh? because you can't be telling me that Omega XL making enough money to essentially be propping up traditional media right now through advertising. They have probably taken over government as the largest advertiser in media. But you at home, like, nah, 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 no me and that vaccine thing. I not put that in my body. Meanwhile, what we feared the most the new variant, the Brazil variant, is here in the country. The Brazilian variant, or P1, has been detected in three additional COVID-19 samples. The Ministry of Health said this was confirmed on Thursday night by the team of the University of the West Indies that conducts genetic sequencing on COVID-19 positive samples. Of the three additional cases, two are nationals and one is a non-national. One sample came from a person under the age of 18 years. The ministry said the cases have not been linked to the previously identified P1 variant case or to each other. And what's even worse about it is some of these cases aren't even connected. So you had at least four cases and none of them 
are touching each other. That's a problem. And worse, worse, worse is that you have reports of people who are on the front line, healthcare workers, police officers, supposedly not wanting to receive the vaccine. <sighs> Come on, man, what are, we, what are we doing as a nation? And then Ori will scream, open the borders, open the restaurants. Almost paradoxical that on the one hand, they want to be relieved of the restrictions, but on the other hand, they don't want to get vaccinated. It just mm -hmm. almost doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make sense. You know what else doesn't make sense? That Gary Griffith made sense last week. Maybe things have changed. Maybe things have changed um, in persons in uniform because everybody has rights, everybody has an attorney, everybody sees about their personal rights over the rights of others. But I think why you, the reason you wear uniform is because you put the rights of the country over your own personal rights. But now everybody has a right and a justification. Exactly. It's about personal responsibility. Others above self. I'm not saying force anybody to take it, but somewhere inside you have to be like, Come on, guys, what can I do to make the situation better? Why are you mad at the government still keeping the gyms open? Because, you know, the gym owners and the trainers are happy. They are still employed. But if you have a problem with gyms being open, hear me out, don't go to the gym and avoid people who do. And one more step, if you can afford it, still pay your membership fees so that your favorite gym is still around when all of this is over. Order from your favorite restaurant, even if you can't dine in. Order and tip your waiters. All of these things, take care of yourselves, take care of others. Please, we are all in this together. All right, let's take a break.